we're just having a little meeting talking about our podcast guest for this afternoon, and lo and behold, Gustav decided to shelve himself. You okay, buddy? You look a little bit depressed. It's his little protest that uh, he doesn't want us to leave the office, so he's installing himself. <laughs> he wants us to stay. There you go, Gustav. Yeah. Oh, stretch it out. Ah, yeah, that shelf life. That's rough. Come on, buddy. Yes. Yes, it is. That's pretty low. I know it's kind of a mess in here. This is kind of the state of my life right now because, you know, we're moving out of the office. This is the week. I know I've been talking about it kind of, it feels probably like we've been talking about it for a long time. And I did just release a video about the office, which you can go check out. I'll be sure to link above it, which is really great. Glad we had it. Only have it for a few more days. And of course, I'm, I'm not even in there most of this week because like today, I'm gonna be going to CNRS to record about, you know, stressed out undersexed squirrels which is not exactly where I thought life was gonna lead me, but here we are. But before I go, I've been meaning to open this box and I keep not doing it because I've got some replacement hats for the hat that I gave away and these all appear to be done incorrectly as well, which is kind of great. If you wanted to get one of these little invader hats, I actually really like how they've been misprinted and I was kind of hoping it would happen again. You'll see that like in the original design, the one that this goes out to all my patrons as a sticker after what, a year as well? It's like a loyalty sticker. The sunglasses are orange, like my sunglasses. It's not that much of a stretch to understand what's going on here, right? So they, they match. With these guys, for whatever reason, it's the exact same artwork that I uploaded. There's no, there's no reason for it to have changed, but for some reason it did change. And I was kind of hoping that that would still be the case so that I could get more of these. I might correct it soon. So if you want to get one of these hats, I'll be sure to link it below. Uh, but I figured I'd try it. There's a trucker hat. This is a new one. I didn't realize this was possible. There's a white hat, which I don't know how I feel about this. How does it look? How does a white hat look on me? I don't know, we're gonna find out. And then the classic black hat. This is the one I've been wearing for a while and I kind of missed it. Take this little label thing off and we're good to go. And speaking of being good to go, like I genuinely need to get out of here. And away we go. I have to leave, technically leave Paris to film with these guys, which is kind of cool because we get a nice view, which I've shown you before and I'll show you again. But it's gonna be weird, you know, figuring out how I'm gonna go about working again without, without the office. We were just talking about that. Like in some ways it's gonna be nice because the office has been a great place to hibernate for six months while figuring out everything we're doing in the transition and moving forward. But it's also nice to have a guaranteed place where you can go and work and you don't have to think about it. You don't have to think like, oh, where's open? Work friendly at this hour and won't kick me out for lunch and it's gonna be complicated. Ooh, the bus I want here. Oh, hold on. One of the other fun facts about this place is that there are two bakeries up here right next to CNRS that are, or this location of CNRS that are really good. And the one that's closest to them is the one that I tried last time, just to verify, and yes, their pan au chocolat is delicious. Also, it's following the wrong face. I'm over here, Gimbal. Don't, I know she's prettier than I am, but you don't have to highlight that. Anyways, let's try this place, the Etoile de Berger, and uh, make a comparison really quick. And then, don't worry, we'll get back to Paris here in a second. they did to put that place together they've been renovating it over the winter it looks really nice but as for the pen of chocolat i'm a little bit i don't know hold on it's very good i'm not gonna complain but i think the other one might be a little bit better it basically tastes like chocolate wrapped in butter this is also good though you can't really go wrong okay anyways let's go record about stressed out under sexed ground squirrels in canada and then uh we got a busy week ahead of us this is that other place it doesn't look as fancy, but it's delicious. Anyway, let's check out the view.
Well, that was a lot of fun. Squirreling it up, I did. I actually got to do the full narration, like the voiceover for the narration. Hold on. There we go. Usually I end up doing the voices. So for like the, the scientists and so forth. So for those of you that have ever watched one of the documentaries that I've done, which I will try to link to the squirrel one below, the stressed and undersexed squirrels. Uh, I'm usually a variety of scientist voices, which we try to keep from being too crazy. Usually try to keep it fairly subtle. But today I did the narration for two, one of them with my own voice and one of them with a British voice. So I did a British accent, which we had a English woman in the room who works for France 24 and she was impressed and gave it the thumbs up. Could have gotten it, should have got. I didn't film it all while we were in there because we were just so busy trying to scavenge. Like we had a, one of the scripts got totally destroyed for reasons that we won't get into. But anyways, it's a beautiful day out. I'm gonna keep trying to do some of these time lapses and we'll see where we go from there. Just trying to do some different time lapse styles, and this thing's got some really cool features on it. I'm having fun. I want to get out and about in the city more, but I am honestly feeling a little bit depressed today about losing the office, which hasn't been a problem until now. And I think it's that struggle of knowing that, like, I'm gonna have to. I don't know what it is. I'm not 100% ready to lose my little hibernation cave as the bear that I am. But at the same time, I'm really grateful to have had it for as long as we did have it. And I am looking forward to getting out, doing more of this kind of stuff. I just need to get back to having the right levels of energy for it, which generally I'd say it's two or three steps forward, one step back occasionally. And overall right now, you know, getting a lot closer to it day by day. Anyways, I'm gonna go take a couple more shots of this. Then I'm gonna take advantage of the sales. The national sales are still on for a few more days. I need to buy a couple of shirts. I need to start wearing collars again at some point and uh, then, you know, go for a run. is where I usually buy my pants and uh, I like the cut of their shirts too and apparently it's like full on NFL season here now too. Weird and cool but I'm coming up here although now I kind of now I kind of want to buy some Reese's Puffs to be to be totally honest. <sighs> First shirts. Delight. Usually I'm not a big fan of shopping, but I had it in me. I had to, I took a nap before I came here to make sure that I had enough energy in me. Anyways, bought three shirts, a pair of pants, and a sweater. It all cost me 120 euros. Everything was 50 to 70% off, and it's good because I haven't bought a new shirt uh, since the Australian Embassy event. In when was that? August? It's been a while. It's been like six months since I bought a shirt. Anyways, needed that. Happy to get it going. And uh, well, you know, we'll, we'll just have to see how I look over time. Moving on. Feels good. I was gonna ride my bike today, but I realized I'm probably gonna have to ferry stuff home after I get done working today. So we have two days left to get stuff back from the office, and well, I, I'll probably let us finish moving during the weekend. But this is kind of cool too. They're opening up access to the canal from the Bastille Square, which is gonna be really neat. I'm looking forward to seeing when it's all finished. This whole square is starting to look really great. I'm gonna meet French Laura for coffee here really quickly, and then uh, hope and pray for just a little bit of sunshine. Perfect timing. That is
bro. Come on. It's a video. Oh. <laughs> it's a video. I told my friend Louisa that I'd help her move today. She, theoretically, she said she just needed help loading the truck, which is just a very, very, very packed day because I also have to go to the doctor. I was gonna go, one of the weird things, if you're gonna get a shot, is you have to go buy your shot first. You like buy it at the pharmacy and bring it with you. So uh, I gotta go get my vaccine and bring it with me. And uh, today's kind of nutso. I was gonna talk about something with Richard and I went and got noodles and I was gonna say something specific. I forget what it is. Figured out here in a second. I gotta I gotta find where Louisa is. comes back to loading moving trucks somehow in this vlog. Whew. Only had a couple of big pieces of furniture to do and now I'm kind of sweaty. Awesome. Awesome. It's on record. <laughs> Alright, all done. Whew. Anyways, that wasn't too bad. You only lived on the what second floor? So yeah. the American second, French first. Wait, no, American third. Wait, you were on the American third floor. Already? Oh, yeah. I don't like the angle this thing's giving me. Hold on. There we go. See? You can see yourself. Hold on. There. Can I? Yeah. Well, here. You see on the phone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All good. Anyways, sending her off into Bon I gotta go see my doctor now. All taken care of. I don't know if... I think I might have accidentally stopped recording there for a second. But I got the shot taken care of. The funny thing is, this is just a moment of perspective, but I got a vaccine, right? That she was like, well, you only qualify for it if you're already sick or if you are traveling, some things like that. And I'm traveling, I'm going to Asia soon. So she's like, okay. I don't know if that means I qualified or not, but what's really funny about it is that when they're kind of preparing you for how expensive it's probably gonna be, like, you, know, you might not be able to be reimbursed for this. It's like, all right, well, hit me with it. It's gonna be 21 euros. <laughs> what? For a shot? Great, okay, I'll pay for that, that's no problem. And so even if I don't qualify and don't get a reimbursement, it's, uh, it's fine, it's totally worth it. Anyways, shot went well, headed back to the office now, I'm gonna pack up some stuff, take it home, and then off to another exercise class with vitamin well. It's gonna be a boot camp called Boom Camp. And they made it sound like super duper intense, so I'm probably gonna go sweat a lot. So I need to go home and get my real shoes because I just have my vans with me and that's not enough. It's called Boom Camp. Of course, I'll put how much it costs on the screen in case you're interested in trying it out while you're here in Paris. I don't know if I'm ready for this. I moved, I helped Louisa move out of her apartment. I moved stuff out of my office. If I die, you know, just tell my family I love them. I'm mostly excited and I'm just mildly terrified.
Mais c'était trop bien. Ouais, c'est une photo là Moi non, c'est une vidéo. <rire> ça t'a plu ou pas Ouais, ouais, bien. Ouais, c'était ouais, ouais, super cool. Très Normalement, très ça coûte combien C'est ça que j'ai voulu demander. C'est 11 euros. 11 euros 11 euros la séance, ouais. Ok, cool. Et tous les jeudis. Tous, tous les, les jeudis. Jeudi. De pas. Tous les jeudis. Okay. Ça. Et on, on organise un voyage au Portugal. Ah, c'est ça que tu 27 au 29 ouais. mars. Okay. 250 euros. Ouais. Genre, all included. Donc, tu cherches à l'aéroport, randonnée, ah, chef vegan, tout ça. Chef vegan Ouais, on est tous Juste Non, non. Mais moi, oui, je détends sur. Je mange des, je mange des. Prochain point, j'ai vais en noir. The little gimbal ban out of juice, ban out of juice, ran out of juice. But that was great. I really, really like that. It was. I guess just about an hour long, non-stop, and uh, I'm doing that again for sure. You didn't catch on the camera when I was talking to the room with the organizers, with the coaches. It's 11 euros per session, boom camp. Although, of course, they call it boom camp, so don't, be, don't get too confused by that, but it's, you know, a playoff boot camp. It was great. They bounced around at different locations. Today was in a photo studio. They go to other places like, I think, dance studios, and they're doing like a retreat, all kinds of good stuff. So if you want to check that out, I will link below. When two people walking on their phones collide. Of course, it's pouring on the day that we're going to finally move the last of the office. I don't even know if I don't really want to pan the camera too much to you so you can see. My room is a mess. My storage is a mess. My life is just kind of a mess right now. I'm also a little bit like scratchy in the throat, apparently. Ah, so um, I'm going to Uber back with some stuff today. Kate might be helping me. Uh, but either way, I'm going to get the rest of the stuff out of the office. I'm just slow moving this morning because it's raining. I don't really feel like moving quickly. And uh, yeah, I mean, it'll be good to have it over with. I was thinking it's like, I'm really glad that we had the office while we did. And I'll, I look forward to whatever comes next. But uh, we saw Cheryl last night. For those of you that wonder if Cheryl's still alive, don't worry, she is. She had a good point that I didn't really get to share the whole process. Like this whole not being able to vlog daily or not vlogging daily thing makes it a lot harder to share the process of getting the place, keeping it, deciding to leave it, and leaving it. Uh, and know that it came as kind of a surprise to some of you. So sorry about that. Working on it. We'll get it figured out. But she had some good recommendations for me last night too. So we'll see if I can't apply some of her advice which is always good. So in the meantime, I think I'm going to go down and get a waffle uh, just to cheer myself up, some coffee, and then packing up and Ubering. One of the other things, actually, I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you. The, the foam changed colors, kind of weird. The foam turned yellow. Like, I don't know if this is from sunlight, but it looks kind of like, you know, cigarette filters or something. Look at this. It's weird. That gray good. Yellow bad. I don't really want to keep all of these anyways. Like it's way too much. And now that they're yellow, it's kind of gross. I don't want them in my room or anything. So I think I'm going to pick the ones that are still in the best condition. Keep those. I'll put them underneath my bed in my room. So that'll help with the sound, you know, back at home. But uh, yeah, it's also a big pain in the butt to try and move all this stuff. And uh, it just, it's gross. I don't know what the heck is wrong with them. But the, that part's kind of nasty. I'm looking around. I forgot my gimbal at home. Sorry about that. Yeah. Feeling a little bit slow, feeling a little bit sad. It's definitely a step back, but like for good reason and at a good time. I think that it'll be well worth it. Just kind of the biggest thing going on right now, obviously. So we're gonna finish packing this stuff up. Kate's on her way to help me uh, load it. And uh, yeah, so we'll just kind of throw the garbage away, load up the valuable things and start fresh this week from Shane Wong. And that's about it. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. I know it was kind of a smattering of all kinds of random stuff, new time lapses, old offices, all kinds of things. But uh, yeah, hope you're having a great weekend wherever it is you are. Well, that's, I'm off to the, yeah, I guess by the time you see this, it'll be the week. I hope you had a great weekend and that you're having a great week and I'll see you, you know, bright and early next week, same time, who knows what for. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.